everyone, Scott from Winderly, Director of Sales. And I'm here to talk to you about the Winderly Marsh Vineyard Designet Bottling from 2018. Uh, Marsh family is our neighbors. Jim and Loie Marsh uh, had a farm that they bought in the late 50s, and they were one of the first six people on our whole hill. And we're very proud to say that Jim farmed into his 90s. He passed away uh, in the spring of last year, uh, but a farmer his whole life. And he was growing prunes and cherries for maraschino cherries, hazelnuts, he'd do some Christmas trees. And until his neighbor, uh, Dick Erath, moved in and told him he had a great site for grapes, he wasn't growing grapes. Uh, now, most of his 144 acres is planted to grapes and his grandson, Jimmy, is making the wine. What I love about the Marsh Vineyard is there was an elegance, a finesse, a subtlety, a lighter in color, more red and dark cherry, but elegance, but with depth and complexity. And for me, that's a hallmark of the Pinot Noirs that you get off of Warden Hill Road and specifically the Marsh Vineyard. Uh, 2018, a little warmer vintage and the site is giving a slightly different expression of the Marsh Vineyard. So you have all that elegance and red cherry, but you get some more purple notes. You get a, a weightier expression of Marsh from the 2018 vintage. We should give it a try. The first thing I notice is the color. Um, Marsh Vineyard, Legacy Vineyard, Weber Vineyard tend to be those Pinot Noirs from Winderly that are lighter in color. And the Marsh often leads the way with the exception of possibly the Legacy. Uh, this year's 2018, there's a little more purple hue to it. You can still see through it. It's still very, very clear, very clean, uh, but there is a little darker, richer color. And as you start to swirl, the florals come out, often a violet, often a, you know, like an acacia or a mountain flower, but the cherry, and there's some a good combination more of dark cherry than just red and strawberry. Uh, there's a lot more going on with the 18, particularly on the dark fruited side. Let's give it a taste. Wow, there's a a plushness and a richness uh, to the palate and the way the wine feels on your palate. A little bit more weighty than what I typically associate with the Marsh Vineyard. And I think that's because of the vintage is coming through. We have one of the older blocks. I think the block that we get was planted in 1970. Uh, so these are definitely some old vines that are expressing what they still uh, have a lot of life in them. So the red and strawberry is there, but there's some pomegranate. There's also some dark cherry and a black cherry and a raspberry, and even like a, a cordamin or an exotic spice note that's really, really wonderful. The flavors hang in your mouth and on your palate. I've swallowed the wine quite, quite a long time ago, but the flavors are still there. Tannins are very soft and supple. Uh, this wine has wonderful aging potential, but is very approachable now. Uh, for those of you who are big fans of the Marsh Vineyard, I'm sad to say 2018 will be the last Marsh that we will be doing uh, at Winderly. If you're a fan of the Winderly Marsh 2018, my advice is don't wait. Go out and get some today. 2018 Marsh, delicious.